TSLA stock Tesla just well just let go so we're gonna take a look at this uh, the chart for Tesla is one thing but Tesla is really like the last it's like the last domino before this like high risk growth rotation happens and I thought we I thought we had like the whole month of February before this started uh, but it's on now it's on so let's go over Tesla the market all the things the rotation is happening right now oh boy okay please uh, hit the uh, like button for me and chat in the comments and I will well I'll take a look at Tesla here okay so yeah just looking back at Tesla I mean super bubble we have a just a super angry bubble trend line that we've been hugging and hugging and hugging and so this sort of previous topping area where Michael Burry was short and there's all that noise um, was really important because we did blow we did blow the bubble trend line and if you go back and watch my last Tesla video like as soon as we reversed uh, on this peak I threw this downtrend line immediately on here um, because I already knew the angle of it because we have four other ones at the exact same angle uh, with every flag on the way up um, but what we have here is a crossover move and we've got a wedge painted and we're trapped under this downtrend line so Tesla is aiming for the 500 ish area right now now Tesla doesn't have to come like all the way across immediately that's one thing it could do like it, it could it could be down here around 500 something like next week um, that's possible uh, more common though when you get trapped under a trend line like we just broke we just broke the big channel here and so Tesla is now screwed and Tesla is the last meme EV big tech high risk growth stock it's the last domino so this is happening but more common uh, it's more common to hook under here and if Tesla comes here this is an absolutely killer shorting position on this and I probably will do that if it gets there um, we'll have to see what it does but in any case Tesla is trapped under this downslope it's not that steep um, there's a lot of other charts that have way uglier uh, down sloping kind of areas they're trapped under there's a bunch of wedges I covered a ton of this on my last video but there's tons of charts that are in these descending wedges across like crypto and EV uh, there's tons of them so yeah anyway that's it like my two targets kind of for Tesla are just releasing now that we broke this like it's big trouble like it could it could just flush uh, especially since it's really like the last one uh, or uh, or we could do sort of the generic thing and go back up and test this area a couple more times before we let go um, this would be my favorite place for it to go because that's back up at like a thousand and I'm not shorting this thing right now um, but yeah anyway Tesla is it's the original meme stock it's the original EV stock the entire meme and EV everything is largely around Tesla and then also Elon's constantly like getting involved in all the crypto nonsense so yeah just to flip over uh, to BTC like you can see a very similar wedge that's uh, uglier on BTC and we have sort of a neckline area here that hasn't been broken yet on this one um, but you can see where it's trapped now and so we'll see soon by the end of this month the BTC releases down here um, but let's let's look at the market because the S&P kinda has a wedge but the S&P uh, has it has pretty ugly momentum and everything right now but right right now like it's entirely possible for for like the S&P to just stay up here and consolidate while other things are crashing out and I think that is maybe the most likely like I don't like even if like Tesla flushed out or a couple other small things flushed out uh, I don't think the S&P would need to necessarily follow 
And then also, if you take a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has already like crossed over its wedge area. And so like this would be maybe a downward consolidation on the NASDAQ that would, that would match up with a sideways consolidation on the S&P. Like I think that's probably the most likely, but uh, along with Tesla flushing out, we have the IWM uh, making down moves that are, well, not happening on the NAS and the S&P. So like this is a threat to the smaller stocks and the high risk and high growth stuff as well, just as an indicator, the IWM uh, continues to be weaker and yeah and we have Tesla flushing now and that's huge and oh and this is actually I didn't think that was happening today yeah now we have this is the NASDAQ versus the S&P indicator and we have yeah we have the NASDAQ breaking through like NASDAQ superior dominance versus the S&P so if, if this starts coming down, like this is the NASDAQ losing versus the rest of the market. So you have tons of risk coming into the NASDAQ and like normal, like big cap names, like big growth stocks. And then of course, like all the super high risk, small growth that we're just talking about. Let's flip through a couple of things. Um, ARC has already done a pretty big dive. <coughs> so. And you can see the, the wedges on some things like this, like ARC has already done a huge thing. And then we have other EV stocks, Workhorse got trapped a long time ago, like February or whatever. Um, it's just coming down. And I don't know, like a wedge on this thing. Um, a wedge on this puts this thing almost out of business. Um, but you can see across pretty much all of the EV stocks, they're all They've all been pulling down in advance of Tesla doing that, and now they're getting red candles along with Tesla doing that. Um, Nikola, I've been short this thing for a while, and it just kind of let go last week. Um, yeah, yeah, these are all these are all kind of trapped under downtrends, and then just turning over to the downside along with Tesla. So this whole space is going to be really interesting. And I have the general idea that what's happening here is we're just rotating out of the super high risk cryptos, meme stocks, EVs. Uh, let's check out like GameStop. Um, GameStop blew its bull flag here. Um, it's picking up support at the next channel. So that'll, that'll be interesting. Um, it, we still have this downtrend. Um, but you know, that like GameStop and AMC have have already started crapping out and AMC is almost all the way across its wedge but like just breaking out of a down wedge for like ARC or AMC something that's already almost all the finished like the the wedge like if you break out that doesn't mean you're like rallying out of here like uh, it's pretty common to see it come down and test again and then whatever after that like that's the end of that that chart formation but it doesn't I mean, it's supposed to be a bullish formation because you're breaking out of a downtrend, but you can break out of a steep downtrend into like a weaker downtrend. That happens a lot. Um, so, right, and cost is like another one of those. Yeah, and then micro strategy, same kind of thing. It's a similar down wedge to, uh, you know, just the BTC chart. And you can see this coming into a big channel area where it'll have to test some things out. And Mara, pretty similar. Like I've been short Mara since way up here. Uh, this is my big short that I've been talking about for over a month. Actually, my entire portfolio is 100% short. I don't even have a cash position. I'm just short, and Mara is my biggest short. Um, and Riot, whatever. All right, so the thing is, though, um, I don't think the entire market is crashing out right now. I think we're just rotating out of those high risk things. And then we should be coming back into other things that might be more solid. So like gold is super interesting to watch. Like gold failed to break out and it's pulling down. And so I think now with Tesla flushing, we are getting into margin call territory where gold and like silver, like even though they may be good in this 
sort of environment, like it's not going to be good to get margin calls because if you have a gold or a silver position and you have to cover margin, like you sell whatever, you sell whatever you have to, like you don't have an option and the brokers will even do it for you if you don't do it. Like they'll sell your gold and they'll cover the margin. Uh, that's how margin calls work. You have like these margin loans, you go upside down on them and you have to cover, you got to pay for them. And that's when you get the accelerated downside moves is you start getting margin calls and then everything, things that aren't even related start coming down because you have to sell something to, to pay for the margin loans. So I think we are getting into margin loan risk territory. And so a lot of the things have already come down a bit, but um, it's a big deal for the NAS to be ripping down and yeah, the big ones, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's starting right now. It's starting. I thought it would be end of February before this whole thing started, but it's today. It started today. All right. So good luck uh, in this market. I think the next two months probably are going to be something interesting. And then it's going to be really, really tricky to figure out where to get out of the short positions and what to rotate into but i'm thinking like gold and silver should be should be one option um maybe things like copper and fcx uh, more commodity plays and maybe oil oil's been bullying it's acting pretty weird um but there may be some oil plays we'll worry about that later right now it's like all of the things I just mentioned are super, super dangerous, and I'm short a lot of that stuff. <laughs> and I've been short. I've been short for over a month. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I think the thing now is to kind of figure over, figure these crossover moves. Figure the crossover moves. Figure out where to get out of the shorts. I mean, I may be going from, like, short to cash to confused or something that's probably the most likely thing that's going to happen here uh yeah anyway i just wanted to do the update on the market rotation and tesla tesla the the last the last domino not trading advice as usual good luck with this crazy nonsense and happy trading